Growth hormone has benefits beyond just growing taller. When a child is growth hormone deficient, even basic motor tasks can be difficult to learn because nerves and neurotransmitters rely on human growth hormone. If your child grows slowly, is behind in motor skills, or cognitive skills, you should request that your doctor check for growth hormone deficiency. Before human growth hormone, Zoe is eight years old, 41 inches tall, and 42 pounds. She has been working on putting toddler puzzles together for over six years. Time to do a puzzle. Got to put the pieces in. That's a lot of banging. Nice hands, gentle hands. Oh, turn it upside down and turn it around. There you go. Now slide it in. Oh, you're really close. Just twist it a little bit. Almost. Look, you're almost. Fix it. You're so close. Twist it a little bit. To the side, like this. Here you go. Now try. Oh. You're so close. Let's try. Let's try this. I'm going to put all the pieces in so the other holes are full, and you just have to put in the bug. Let's leave this guy. Now you just put in the bug. Nope. We're going to leave those so we can complete the puzzle. He's upside down. Look at him. Look at him. He's upside down. Turn this way. Yeah. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Go slow. There you go. After one month of human growth hormone, Zoe is 42 inches tall and 46 pounds. We have continued our same daily puzzle practice with no changes except adding growth hormone. We are so excited about her results. Hello. We're doing a week for their strong video and Zoe has been on growth hormone for one month. And so we're going to retry our favorite puzzle that we use more than a couple of. We can unbox. Okay. Remember to hold it, or I'll help you to so hold it still. I know you can do it. Take away just one factor because we didn't use this in our first video. Good. Good job matching it, bunny to bunny. Very good. Remember to leave it in. Good. Leave them in. New, new puzzle piece. Very good. That little puppy. Make sure you line them up right. So close. Yes. Ta-da! Excellent job! Okay, now we're going to use the puzzle that we haven't practiced a lot to see if we can transfer the activity. And the, another difference is that these puzzle pieces are a little harder. They swivel a little bit. Whoops! Down there and get back. Hold on, wait, wait. Okay. I'm sorry I told you to wait. Remember to look at the pictures. You have to look at the direction. Oh, good job. Good job. That bee's almost completely in. Very good. Remember to look at the direction and match them. Let's look at the animals. See? I mean, sorry. What is that? A ladybug? Yeah. Ladybug? Good. It is in. I'm going to leave it in for you. Very good. 
You have to look at the pictures. I know you have the other one memorized, huh? Mm. That's part of puzzles anyways, is memorizing them. Oh, so close. Keep going. These knobs are difficult. They turn a little bit. Can you push this one in the rest of the way? Good job turning it. Match the eye up. There you go. Very good. Yes. Excellent job. High five. Sure, you can get candy for that. Can you wave to the camera? How exciting. Before a human growth hormone, it took Zoe two minutes and 28 seconds to place just one puzzle piece in a practice puzzle. She wasn't able to focus on one piece at a time, she didn't turn the pieces with her hands, and she moved constantly during the task. After just one month of human growth hormone, it only took her 40 seconds to complete a practice puzzle and only one minute and six seconds to complete the puzzle that she hadn't practiced for an entire month. She was able to focus on one piece at a time. She used two hands to turn pieces and she was able to sit still and attend to a task. Amazing. Can you, Zoe, did you also get taller? You wanna go show them? Go stand against the wall. Zoe, go stand against the wall. This one, this wall. Oh, hold on. Let me move this. Come here, come here, Zoe. This one gets the wall. Oh, yeah. <gasps> See? Get those hands. <gasps> she grew. Yay! <laughs> when Zoe was merely four years old, I knew that she would have growth hormone deficiency, not just because she was very slow growing, but also because I found an article about the essential role of MBD5 in the regulation of somatic growth and glucose homeostasis. I was told, though, that growth hormone wouldn't benefit Zoe because she has microcephaly and it wouldn't allow her head to grow. However, in 2005, it was discovered that growth hormone can cross the blood-brain barrier by simple diffusion. So her brain over the past month has been fueled by growth hormone. Yay! I'm so glad that Zoe is reaping all the benefits of this treatment. So what are the benefits of human growth hormone beyond increased height? improved cognition, improved fine and gross motor skills, increased muscular strength, and increased muscular endurance. Comment on this video if you would like journal references to provide to your physician to show him or her that human growth hormone has benefits beyond correction of short stature. I'd be happy to share. If you liked this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us at weakthereforestrong.com on Instagram or on MeWe. Remember, when we are weak, God is strong.